amazing. Yes? Thumbs up. Absolutely amazing about what the Lord Jesus Christ has done in people's lives. This is what it's about. About a real, real, real change. And um, I must just spend, I must just spend a few minutes now, just, uh, just sharing something with you. And um, you might find it informative. You might find it funny, but it's certainly going to make you think. And um, who needs the pieces? Can you all sit down? Yeah, I sit down. I sit comfortably. Well, today we are celebrating something absolutely incredible. We are celebrating the miracle of new birth. Absolutely amazing. And, and often we, we kind of reserve those terms for, the, for when the new baby comes along, don't we? It's like, oh, oh, there's a new birth, there's a new baby being born. But today we have heard some wonderful, wonderful testimonies, wonderful stories of, of these six dear uh, people coming into faith in Jesus. And that is the miracle of a new birth in Jesus. So this is think about it. We had, we had Zara who was worried that she would be judged, and she wasn't. She was just accepted and loved. We had Curtis who, who amazes us every single week with something new that he comes out with. We had Christina who has changed so much that she cries God-shaped tears. Absolutely amazing as we see God touching her heart. We've seen Daisy who has blessed us all with our courage. The other day that she became a Christian, she came and stood out the front and said, I want to accept Jesus, and she stood here. That took more courage than I ever had. We saw Tracy who, who watched from afar, but genuinely grew towards Jesus week by week, month by month, as she, as she thought about it and worked things through. And that's, that's the best way. And then we saw Emma who just loves singing in church loves a family and feels accepted into her church family. Isn't that amazing? That is miracle upon miracle upon miracle. And the Bible calls this entry into faith being born again. Well, born again, that sounds like a bit of an American term, doesn't it? You know, something that you hear, you must be born again, brother. Some of that. But actually, actually, it was Jesus who, who first mentioned this. And it all happened one night when you met up with this Pharisee called Nicodemus. And I had this late night chat. Because, um, because I think he was surprised at what people would say. So he came and he spoke to Jesus and he said to him, he said, look, you know, I've got some questions for you. And Jesus said to him, he said, look, I tell you, no one can see or enter into the kingdom of God unless they are born again. So what is this new birth? What is this, this, um, this new faith that Jesus talks about? Well, just to start with, just before we get into some funnings, we've got to understand that God says something really amazing about every single one of us. In the book of Romans it says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That word all, it means without exception, it means every single one of us, everyone who's been born, who will be born, who's born tomorrow, that we all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that's great news for us because that means there's a level playing field for us. It doesn't matter if you're rich, if you're poor, if you're white, if you're black, white, green, yellow, pink, whatever. That all have sinned. And that means that we're all in the same boat. And that means that we all need a saviour. We all need Jesus to save us from our sins. And one of the many things that I love about Jesus, and there's lots of things that I love as I read the Gospels, I love the way that he used simple, everyday illustrations to explain amazing things. And these are called parables. And how many people have heard of the parable of the Good Samaritan? Stick up your hand if you've heard of that. Stick up your hand. Yes, that's a lot of people. How many people have heard of the parable of, of the sower? Stick up your hand when the farmer goes out and sows us a seed. Well, we're going to have our own parable today. And it is called the parable of the sandwich. Bang, bang, bang. I, I tried to get some sound effects worked out, but, I, but I'm not very technical. So, so today, we are going to have the parable of the sandwich. Now, the first question is, how many, how many people like sandwiches? Stick up your hands. Ah, oh, that's not so big. What's, what's your favourite sandwich? Who's got a favourite sandwich? Ham? Cheese? Yes. Peanut butter? Cheese and ham? 
Two men. Two men. Two men. Two Okay. But what about the Evans? Egg mayonnaise. Bacon. Fish fingers and ketchup. Love. Lovely. Ketchup. Absolutely wonderful. So, how many people can make a sandwich? Stick your hands if you can make a sandwich. Yeah, that's most people. Well, we're going to make a sandwich now. And, um. <coughs> so, first thing for sandwich. Is it you need some bread, don't you? Yes. So. Huh? In fact, what I can do is if I put this over here, maybe this one. If I don't get my head off first. Let's see if we can do this. Right, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay, you can, you can all still hear me. Okay, because I've got to make this sandwich, you see, and it's in the box. Okay, so, so here we have we have a piece of bread. It's a nice piece of bread. Mm, it tastes like a piece of bread. So, you have a piece of bread, and what you have is that uh, you've always got to have margarine or butter, don't you? you know, if, if you're posh, you have butter. If you, if you're like me, you have margarine. So, so you take a little bit of margarine. Let's have a little bit more. So we spread this on here like this. Okay? So, what have we got on here? So we've got some ham or lunch to meat. It's something like that. It's very fresh, it's still moving. So we have a piece of that, and we have another piece here. So, so there we have that. So we have a piece of bread, we have, we have some lunch to meat. Now just imagine that this is you. Just imagine that this is you when you're born. Okay, so here are you as a baby. Now that's not a very flattering baby picture, is it? You know, if you just imagine that, but that's us. And so as I said, the Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So here we are, we're born. There we are. So what happens next? So um we've got some peanut butter. So mm, mm, I like so so we're born and we start to grow. So put some peanut butter on. Oh, lovely. So we have the peanut butter as we start to grow. Guys, so we start to grow and then maybe now we get a little bit older. We've got some strawberry jam. That's not bad. Oh. Look at that. Isn't that a lovely sandwich? So far? It's lovely. So, so we've got we've got butter, we've got corn, we've got lunch and meat, we've got peanut butter, we've now got jam. So you're getting older in life, and things, you know, sometimes things get a little bit difficult. You know, so sometimes things get quite hard. So, so now we've got some mustard. No mustard. No. That's that's quite strong. So here we are. So here you are. So here you are. So so you've got butter, you've got ham, you've got peanut butter, you've got jam, and now you've got some mustard. Anyway, so you put this on. No, Gary. That's your life. A, a lovely sandwich. Okay. So so as you start to grow, so as you start to grow, life happens, bad things happen, and and perhaps you might get what's this? An onion. Hmm. So, you've got an onion goes in there. What does that have to Oh, that's fine. That's all fine. So, so, you've got these onions inside there, and as you get older, things go wrong in life, and you think, oh dear, something's, something's not quite life with, something's not quite right with life. Surely life should be better than this. And then, and then one day, somebody's rude to you. Is that tuna? No, this is baked beans. Oh. So, so baked beans. So something bad happens. You think, oh, what's life about? So now you've got some. Now, one of the great things about this is it flicks. So if I get a bean on, really? No. So, so look at this. Look at this. This, this is our life. 
This is a hard All kind of things going on. And then what happens after that? Oh. And then sometimes, and then sometimes life does get good, doesn't it? So you have some of the healthy stuff, like you have um, cucumber. So you have a couple of bits of cucumber on that. And then life gets really good and you know, you're enjoying stuff and there's good things happening. So then you've got some cheese. Look at this cheese, it's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. So let's have some cheese. Oh, let's leave it in the wrapper. So here we are, so here's the sandwich. Here we are. And here's mine. There's, there's some good. There's some good, there's some bad. But you know, something just doesn't feel right. Something just doesn't feel right. And you spend that time thinking, oh, what's the matter? And then one day things get really bad. And there's Marmite! There's Marmite! Alright, so here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. So here's life. So here's life. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't feel so good, does it? But what happens is you put the sandwich there, and and you know, you know that your life isn't very good. You know that you're upset. You know that there's things going on. You think yourself, there must be more to life than this. Then somebody comes up to you one day and they say, "Well, oh, how are you?" So there's you and me here. You've got a nice pretty thing. They say, how are you? And you say, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I'm really happy. Oh, I'm really good. And people can't see the real you under there. But under there is the sandwich with all of these things in there which have gone wrong and hurt you and make you feel bad. But then people say to you, oh, well, how's life? And that's it. There it is. But when you're by yourself, there you are. There's just you. And here's all of a certain pain. But then one day, something nice happens. And so we've got some custard. And custard looks good, doesn't it? So you have the custard. Mm. So the custard goes on. It's fun, isn't it? It's fun. So the custard's on, and all of a sudden things look quite nice because the custard looks nice, doesn't it? And, it, and it's kind of covered up all of this stuff. It's covered up all the... Sh sh and it's covered up all of this stuff in life, but still deep down you know that something's not quite right in your life. And then there's a little bit of sauce comes along, sauce and custard. And then one day you've got the sandwich there, like this. And then someone comes up to you and says, how are you? And you say, yeah, yeah, life's really good. But then what happens is, is that there's a little corner there where people can see it. And they say, are you sure if things are okay? So, well, yeah, things aren't too bad. Well, what can I condemn to help you? And it's like, well, you can't really do anything. Like that. And then you go home, the top comes off, and there you are as a sandwich. But do you know what the amazing thing is? I know. That for all that's going on, Jesus knows how you feel. And Jesus is saying, look, you don't, you don't have to live this way. And then, one day, just when you think yourself, what is the answer? What what is the answer to life? Something really bad happens. Stop. And sometimes it takes a life event where something happens. Maybe you lose somebody. Maybe maybe you become ill. Maybe something happens when you really start thinking about God. And at that point, you think to yourself. But does, does God really love me? Because, because sometimes people just don't know. They think so, oh well, if, if you can follow Jesus, it's got to be, you've got to wear a suit and tie, you've got to look part, you know, you, you know, if you go to church, you'll be judged because of your past, or because of your past. But actually that isn't true, because, because God loves you. And then something really bad happens to make you think. Oh. It's cat food. Oh. Cat food. Cat 
Catherine. So, we have, we have some Catherine. What's the matter? What's the matter? Anybody want some? No! So, so what we have here, what we have here, let's have a little bit of mustard. Oh, the back two more bones, alright? So, here's the sandwich. Here's the sandwich. All of this stuff. Look at it. Look at it. And then somebody comes up to one day and says, how are you? And you say, actually, life isn't very good at all. And then you say, and then you say, what is the answer? When you reach this point, what is the answer? Let me tell you. Let me tell you what the answer is when you reach that point. The only answer is to be found in Jesus. Because only, because, because only Jesus can take a mess and change it completely and totally around. So how does this happen? Well, well we talked. Oh, oh those are sorry. I forgot we've got a donut as well to go in. Oh, I've never been a donut somewhere. Lovely. Anyone? Would anybody like a bite? No? Okay. Let's go back in there. So, that's your life. But what's happened with these six dear people today is that they have realised that their life was difficult. And I want to challenge you today, if, if your life feels the same, if you feel that, there's, that your life is a mess, that there's stuff in your life which you can't change, because you're quite right, you can't change. The only person who can change is Jesus. So how does that happen? Well, you heard me talk about being born again. So what happens is, you come to God, and you say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Would you change my life? And if it comes from that sincere heart, what happens is, let me show you what happens. Is that God takes this, He takes He takes all that sin, He takes that sandwich, He takes all that rubbish, which is called sin, and He puts it in the box. And then He gets all the rubbish like this, and He scrapes it in there. That's the sin, that's the hurt, that's the pain, that's the fear, that's all that stuff. And then what happens is, is the Bible talks about the that be born again. It's it's a fresh start. So what happens is you have a fresh start. You have a fresh you have a fresh life. The fresh bread goes on. The margarine comes out or butter. All goes on, and that's your new life. And then God says, "I want to give you a new name." So he gives you a new name. He gives you a new hope. A new peace. And so what happens is you have this. Okay. No, no, no cat food. We'll keep it like that. And there you are. It's that new life. All of the old is gone, the new is here. And that's open to edge. That's open to every single one of you today. So we're gonna we're gonna have a baptism in a couple of minutes. We're gonna have another song in a second. Michelle's gonna come and play for us a play for another song, and then we're gonna pop outside and we'll go for the doors, and um, we're gonna have the baptisms. And that's that's so amazing because for everybody who's been baptised today, their lives used to be this horrible old sandwich, but it's gone. The old is gone, the new has come, and it's new life in Jesus. Thank you very much, and we're now going to...